Hello, my friends, and welcome back. Thank you very much for being with me again today. I don't know if you remember, but uh, during the G20 summit in Indonesia, the president of the United States of America, Joe Biden, and the president of China, Xi Jinping, met on the sidelines of the summit. The mass media in the United States were, was uh, uh, ecstatic about it. They uh, talked about the defrosting of the Chinese-American relations. They're friends again. We're going to cooperate. Hey, that's what they said. And they also said that it seems like the Chinese are criticizing the Russians. Finally, Biden won. Well, for people who are, you know, older than three years, uh, that means uh, not toddlers, understood very quickly that was bullshit because uh, you can't change uh, something like that in a, they said, three-hour meeting. I doubt that Biden was awake uh, three hours, but hey, what can I say? You don't change that in three hours. Something that the Russians and the Chinese built in 10 years, 12 years, something like that. But anyway, let them believe it. Let them have a little... Uh, uh, you know, ecstasy in their lives. Now, we find that actually uh, China asks for a regrouping and a strengthening of the relations between not only Russia and China, but the Shanghai organization and the uh, BRICS organization. Both organizations do not have United States in it. Okay, so let's see what this uh, article says about this um, strengthening, call for strengthening. What does it mean? Guys, we got to hold a line and we got to be tight right here. Okay, it can be loose, baby, <laughs> if you know what I mean. So this article co uh, comes from Sputnik <laughs> and it's from uh, today, <laughs> 27th of November, 2022 gotta be tight basically that's the keep keep it tight chinese foreign minister calls for the boosting sco BRICS cooperation maybe the russians are lying right it could be an, a possibility so it is necessary to strengthen cooperation between the members of the shanghai cooperation organization sco and the BRICS chinese former Foreign Minister Wang Yi. Now that's a foreign minister. And he's with Jai Shankar of India. He's with Peter Zharto of Hungary. He's with Lavrov of Russia. And not with, uh, what's her name, Baerbock of Germany. Not with Blinken of the United States of America. And not with the other one that Lizzie Lazy Trust. That was the former foreign minister and prime minister of the Great Britain. Okay, now this is another guy, Wang Yi. BRICS, a group of five leading economies consisting of Brazil, Russia, India, China and South Africa. So, the cooperation organization, uh, Shanghai Organization Cooperation and the BRICS is uh, that what this uh, Wang Yi said? They gotta strengthen the cooperation. He said after a meeting with the Russian ambassador to China, Igor Morgulov. So Wang Yi met the Russian ambassador to China, Igor Morgulov, and he said that the Shanghai Cooperation Organization and the BRICS uh, must. It is necessary to strengthen the cooperation, the cooperation between the members of these two organizations necessary okay it's not suggestion it is a uh, we gotta do it fast after they met the americans and i'm quoting it is necessary to strengthen coordination coordination towards what goal and cooperation between the sco countries and the BRICS countries maintain peace and stability in the region and around the world Wang Yi said on Monday, escorted by the Chinese Foreign Ministry. And it's okay, Canada said that they will uh, 
do something over there in East Asia. And I think China is very scared of Trudeau. The minister added that both China and Russia insist on promoting a multipolar world order and do not agree with unipolar hegemony or hegemony. So this is official, non-official declaration of the existence of the second club that I have been talking for nine, ten months, seven months, something like that. Why? Because it was very obvious what's going on for a long time. But somehow the American administration just pss, did not see it, or the expert, or the analysts. Now, Russian Foreign Minister Sergei Lavrov said on Friday that most countries continue to closely cooperate with Russia despite sanctions imposed by the West in response to Moscow's special military operation in Ukraine. So Russia is very much uh, isolated. <laughs> According to Lavrov, the countries that want to continue to work with Moscow include Russia's allies in the Eurasian Economic Union, the Commonwealth of Independent States, CIS, the SCO, the Collective Security Treaty Organization, BRICS and others. You see how many clubs these guys uh, call on? This is like call, call to arms and they yell, hey guys, you come over, hey you guys come over, you guys come over, we gotta come together and be serious about it because the enemy is at the gates. I think that's what's happening right now. Did you hear how many organizations he, he, he called? I guarantee you, in none of those organizations is a country called United States of America or France or Germany or Great Britain for that matter. So, or maybe Australia as well. And it's clear. It's clear. They now, I think, is the call to write your name down on the paper. So here is the new galactic perfect organization. That's a name. Uh, number one, China plus Russia. Okay. Number two, India. Are you in? Yeah. Okay. India. Brazil. Are you in? Yes. South Africa. Are you in? Oh, yeah. There you are. Yeah. Okay. You are in. All right. And we got what? Iran. Are you in? Yes, of course. North Korea. Are you in? Yes, I am. Okay, come in, you little woodchuck. Uh, and uh, all those Kazakhstan, Uzbekistan, Emilstan, Kosmanstan, Zelenskistan, all those guys are going to come over. And then they're going to go, Argentina, are you in? Yes, sir. And they're going to say, okay, Vietnam, are you in? Yes, sir. Pakistan, are you in? I don't know yet. Okay, okay. Call Im Imran uh, Khan and ask him if he's in. Yes, I'm in. Well, you make sure you stay alive for a little longer and then you're going to come in. And then you go to South America and you ask other countries and go, uh, you know, Central America. And then you go again, Asia, and you go in the Pacific. And even in Europe, you may, may ask a few countries, even Turkey. I'm not talking about even, uh, you know, uh, countries like Arab countries. Are you in? Are you in? Are you in? And Africa. <sighs> They're going to be, uh, my friend Zimbabwe will be like, mm over i'm coming give me the list zimbabwe guarantee you that one and he's gonna be if the first one was uh china and uh russia zimbabwe is gonna sign the number zero on top of them zero zimbabwe so they're first on top of the list thank you very much for being with me again today stay strong stay smart look for the truth and be just